FishtankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks on a Friday. What's up, people? Wife's coming home early. It's good and bad, I guess. But uh, got to bust out a video for you all. Four new subscribers today, loving it. Welcome to the show. Um, here's what's going on. Going to be quick. I want to talk about something that um, people might do a little too much or not enough of, and that's cutting your plants. And I just want to show the benefit of doing it and how you can turn a few plants into more plants with the right plant. Um, please note what I'm about to show you is different from species to species. So if you want to send me a uh, message or a question or a comment or something like that uh, on a specific species, I can help you with that because they're not all the same. But here's what's up. Um, I recently trimmed this plant right here. Um, it's cardinal lobus something, cardinal something. And I'm butchering the name. And I don't know. I need to get a magnifying glass so you guys can even see it. You see the little growth growing right in there inside of the big leaves? That's actually right where I cut the plant. And then I took the tops of those and I planted them back there. And you can see the new little growth coming up out of there. So that's a way to multiply some of your ground plants. Um, crips, obviously, you do not trim. But, uh, you know, you want to cut those off and just replant them. It's a great way to go grow great way to go with stem plants. Um, this is an easy to maintain stem plant, so I'm showing you that. Uh, also, a lot of people have been asking me about hair grass. I want to do hair grass, I want to do hair grass. That's as good as I can get hair grass to grow without heavy, heavy CO2 and high light. So, you know, don't even bother with it. Just don't do it. If you're doing a dirt tank, you do high CO2, da da da, da whatever. Um, so, that's trimming plants. Plants that love to be trimmed. Let's see here. Uh, that plant does... Um, this java fern over here really does. Java fern trident, by the way. It's nasty, awesome, sweet, badass plant. Loves to be trimmed. Uh, baby tears, look at how they overgrown that baby tears is. Loves to be hacked down real low. But check out this badass crib. I'm sorry, that crib is ridiculous. My boy Steve threatens to steal it all the time. Um, so that's what's going on. I've also got a lot of plants for sale. I've got some rotella down here. Um... You know, I do $40 minimum uh, shipping in the United States plus shipping. Um, I do star, got a lot about star grass, which is actually this plant over here. And I got a lot of Elodea and a whole bunch of swords. So if anyone wants any star grass, swords, got a lot of Amazon swords, a um, little bit of crypt, um, rotella, and a whole bunch of dwarf sag. Let me know, and I will hook you guys up. Tomorrow is a special edition of FishTankTV.com. My boy Jolly will be in the mix, so get excited about that. We're going to talk about theories and what we're going to do with his 220-gallon tank. So, happy Friday. Welcome new subscribers. If you like what you see, give me a little rating, make a little comment. You know, press the thumbs up button. Tell your friends. Tell their friends. And we can be friends. I've been listening to Puffy too much. So, anyway, that's it. Let's do it.